Hello, I'm Simon Christie and welcome to another fantastic episode of 4-Wheel Drive TV. We've got plenty of education, plenty of tips and of course more 4x4 motorsport. So let's get stuck straight into it. Tread lightly, keep it safe, play hard. Welcome to the 2012 Four Wheel Drive and Adventure Show, Club Marine SA Boat and Fishing Show. We're here at the Adelaide Showground. We're offering an exceptional variety of four wheel drive accessory market, certainly camper trailers. One of the fundamental differences with our four wheel drive show is that we do have a very large automotive content. And of course on the entertainment side of it, we run a number of stages in the four wheel drive area this year. Ruthie is joining us again. Also Alan Gray from Ask Alan, the terrain tamer man. On our marine and fishing stage, joining us this year for the first time is Paul Worsterling. With Club Marine, we have their celebrity chef Bart Beek with his classic Mediterranean and barbecue cooking. Hi, I'm Darren from ARB Morford Bale. We're here at Adelaide 4x4 show. Awesome site, much bigger stand than last year. We've got seven cars on display this year. We've got the BT50, the Land Cruiser Recaro, Kmar car, we've got the Gold D-Max, we've got the Mitsubishi Triton, the Hilux, and also the GU Patrol, all fitted out with full ARB equipment. Numbers have picked up quite dramatically today, so we're very impressed with that also. It's been a great weekend here at Adelaide Off-Road Show. But of course we don't forget the children and we do operate the ferris wheel. Yeah! The bouncy great white pointer shark. We also have in the automotive side of it, wheelie kids have brought in their battery operated jeeps and quad bikes, free entertainment for the children. And we also have our action program on two specially constructed courses. Then rounding out all of the action activity, we have two monster trucks here one of which is Buster, which is a 10-seat passenger unit. There's no age restriction when it comes to having a ride on a monster truck. Oh, great brand Toyota. You can get a wrap for it now. Do you remember your code word on 5 Channel 7? Yes, I think it was Boating. Oh, beautiful. All right, well, good luck. Car on, up for grabs. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's a winning. That's Karen. a winning one. Oh, you're joking. She's a true one. You've won a car. I can't believe it. You've won a oh, RAV4. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just overwhelmed. Thank you very much. Yeah, well done. Congratulations. All you need. Very much. Thank you. Yes. Your new My name's Alan Gray, I'm with the Terrain Tamer Group. I'm here with a project vehicle. People have been following it for weeks and weeks and weeks. We're just about finished the project, glad to have brought it here. We've taken something like 300 photographs of people, kids in it, all enthusiastic. I'm amazed at the enthusiasm that the younger people have. I've got nine month old twins waving to me and I've got 80 year old grandmothers who seem to know the thing better than I know it. Everybody's touching it and walking past it. They can't help but say, gee, it looks naked or it looks beautiful. or what are you going to do with it or I love it the way it is, don't touch it. So yeah, we're pretty excited. 
glad to be here and meet so many nice people, so many intelligent people. Love it. There's something about four drive people that really clicks with me and I, I feel younger every day I'm here. Thanks for that and we'll catch you down the track one day. Bye. Attendance has been excellent. It's growing not only in the attendance but in the number of exhibitors. There's more on the four-wheel drive side, there's more on the boating side, so it is increasing. And the reports that we're hearing back is that we've obviously got the range of product that people have come looking for. And we've already booked the venue for 2013. Look for us each year, last weekend of October. Mud Bulls and Music is another big and ballsy off-road weekend held at Land Cruiser Mountain Park in the ranges above Kilcoy. A mainstay of the South East Queensland 4x4 scene, this exciting weekend combines a myriad of 4x4 events with country entertainment, including a serious rodeo and a country music festival. Typical to the event are these high speed stages that see off-road races, up against winch trucks, all-terrain vehicles and specifically built high speed, low COG 4x4s. The weekend 4x4 events are usually hard and fast and range from the super rallycross through to the hill drags. With something for everyone and plenty of excitement, the event also attracts good sized crowds. Big thanks to Shane Gerrish for his support of the local 4x4 scene and the footage supplied for 4 Drive TV. And make sure you tune in next week for more featured 4x4 motorsport right here on 4 Drive TV. Holden's toughest 4x4 ever has arrived. Introducing the all new Holden Colorado 7. It comes with seven seats as standard and it's loaded with serious off-road grunt. You'll get three ton towing and the awesome 470 Newton meter Duramax diesel engine. Plus an impressive weighting depth and hill descent control. All for the hardcore adventurer. The all new Holden Colorado 7 is here. Take it off-road at your Holden dealer today. 30 second kitchen, a kitchen in 30 seconds. Fridge slide first. Fridge slide's got 130 kilo tracks in it, so it's nice and tough. Remove the R clip, don't lose it. Drop the pin, leg locker. Kitchen now. Lock kitchen down here. Retrieve the R clip. Lock on here, R clip in. Leg here, leg here. Pull them together. Stove, Billy. How good's that, guys? Couldn't ask for quicker. At Terrain Tamer, we've tried to take all the hard work out of four-wheel driving, so you can be an expert as well as an enthusiast. Our parts interpreters talk fluent four-wheel drive because we're talking with 40 years' experience. We've got all the four-wheel drive parts and accessories that you'll ever need, so you can toss them in the back for cheap insurance. When you're miles from the closest mechanic, you'll appreciate that advice. Terrain Tamer, we talk fluent four-wheel drive. My name's Sam, I've come all the way from Perth to do the extreme show over here in Adelaide.
They like my idea of the Tough Dog Mountain, so we've reduced the Tough Dog Mountain again. A couple of boys are winching up it, some of them are driving up it. We've basically just got a demonstration to show the difference in vehicles from cars that are still on the road, still drove down here, and cars that get put on the truck and taken to other competitions all over Australia. We've got Tough Dog Mountain. I got here on Wednesday, Wednesday morning, and started building it with a couple of construction mobs that are from Adelaide. A lot of construction goes into this. It's got heaps of granite rock and moss rock. Took us about a day and a half to build the mountain, and the rest of it is basically just obstacles to show the difference in wheel travel in the vehicles, as well as the pipes. You can see the ramp over index of some of these vehicles, as well as the flex ramp, just to show how far these cars actually go in travel. I said we've got a roadworthy car, it's a GU, he's a local guy. He's only got a few standard modifications that you can buy off the shelf. And then we've also got a GQ Patrol that's here, which is pretty much a ground up rebuild, all custom fab stuff done to it. We've also got a winch truck, which is purpose built. He's running a high mount winch on the front of it, which is an extremely fast winch. So we're demonstrating the difference in the winches from a base market to a high end market of the winches. So hence why we've put the Tough Dog Mountain. I mean, he winches all the way up there. And the guys get to see how quick these things work in real life. Well, the course is quite basic, but as we say, it's a good thing to get the people involved to demonstrate the vehicles and how far they can get through some of this terrain. So come down next year, I'll hopefully try and drive my car all the way from Perth and hopefully another rock crawler as well so we can show another part of the sport. We have the winch trucks and the rock crawlers almost have a little mini comp ourselves. So hopefully I'll see you here next year for a bigger and better event. A lot of people worry about turbocharging diesels and it's really, it's an old worry for nothing. A diesel engine should be turbocharged. It frees up the engine, it runs it cleaner. The engine is asthmatic, so we want to get air into it and it makes them last actually longer. Turbocharger enhances the life of the engine. We still do lots of fitting today. People often worry about it. I always say, do not worry about it. They do not play up. They don't run hot. If they're installed properly, the installing and the tuning is the vital thing. They've got to be tuned correctly. Air fuel ratio is vital. People, you know, fit often turbochargers and uh, they're overfueled, they have a heat problem. It's a wrong setup. If it's done correctly, you have no issue at all. It really is one of these things. When we fit them, we can sleep. We don't have to worry about it. So anyhow, it enhances the vehicle. It's, I could see today on these very steep hills and inclines there, it's effortless, you know, you don't have to touch the throttle heavy, it just wants to go somewhere, they need air. So the diesel engine likes air, that's why they're all turbocharged today. Well, it's a fantastic day down here at the track. There's logs, there's mud, there's everything that you'd expect from one of the best 4x4 competitions in Australia. The course is all set and the Axial Wraith Extreme Crawler is ready to take on the challenge. And it's over the first of the obstacles, putting those six inch flexi coils to great use straight away. This part of the track is extremely difficult and it's easy to put a tire off a rim Luckily, they've got those Pro Comp beadlock rims on, heading into the water and out, no problem there at all. We're heading up to the stack paver section. This part of the course is extremely difficult and it involves a winch wall. Will he be able to drive it though? Let's have a look here, having a go, getting plenty of wheel spin there from those BFG 42 inch crawlers. Yes, he's driven it. He didn't have to use the winch at all. Over the logs now and heading to the hardest part of the course, the log bridge. Now hopefully he's got both of those ARB front and rear lockers turned on to make it up this hill. Look at that. Makes it look easy as they head into the next section, the tyre climb. Now this part of the track can be very hard 
and a lot of powers needed to get through here. Shouldn't be a problem with this truck. 30 PSI of boost on the turbo and gets over it easily. Heading now down to the rock garden section of the track. Now one of the problems with this section is it's very easy to put it on its lid. Luckily this truck has a fully custom fabricated tube body. Now heading into the bird cage and through easily. Getting very close to the end of the track now. Coming up to the 70 mark and heading into the final straight over one of the toughest sections of the track. And you can see the flex on the body, working that truck as hard as you possibly can over this section. Is he gonna make it to the end? Only time we'll see, we've got a bit of wheel spin, but no, he's through and stuck again. This log's a hard one, wheel spin, but he's getting a little bit of action there. Making the right decision and getting through that obstacle. We're on the home straight now, almost at the 90 mark, one more log to go, and we should be home all the way. So far, he's been penalty free. Let's see if he can get, oh no, he's taken out the 90 mark, but gets to the end. One penalty for the whole run. The next generation of shock absorbers is here. Leading the way in 4x4 suspension development, Old Man Emu introduces the most advanced and finely tuned shock absorber on the market. Nitro Charger Sport incorporates a new valving system that instantly adapts to all terrain for an outstanding smooth ride and phenomenal control. Backed by a three year 60,000 kilometer warranty, you can trust Nitro Charger Sport, built in Australia for Australian conditions. Got a ute? Need more space? Need it to be safe and secure? And of course stylish? Then look no further than Carry Boy. Designed with the true lines of your vehicle in mind and the ultimate in functionality, a Carry Boy canopy will transform the look and performance of your utility. For more information on why Carry Boy are the world leaders in canopy design, durability and practicality, visit carryboy.com.au. When you need your manual gearbox rebuilt, don't start in reverse. Get it geared up right the first time with the team from 360 Gearboxes. As Australia's premium gearbox and diff specialist, 360 use the world's best gears, shafts, bearings and seals. 360 offer a guaranteed and quality changeover and A1 customer service. If your manual is grinding, crunching, sticking or blowing, demand the best 360 Gearboxes, a fast, reliable and high quality rebuild. For more info, visit 360gearboxesdiffs.com.au. Hi, my name's Claude and this is my rig, my 2003 Land Rover Defender. I've only had it for a couple of months. Some of the things that I've done to it since I bought it was two inch lift, side awning, got a rooftop tent, HID driving lights, original driving lights up on the top, got side steps on it. These were the original Land Rover ones and it's an original Land Rover bull bar. It's got a safari snorkel on it, future mods are winch, and a Polaris in dash with a reversing camera. Places I've been with this so far is up in the Victorian high country. Uh, hopefully April next year, I plan to get to Cairns and have a look around up that way and check out Land Cruiser Mountain Park and what other attractions I can find up that way. If you'd like to join us for our next Your Rig trip, then email myself with your details. Each weekly winner takes home a cap and stubby holder courtesy of all sat phone an any sharp edge sharpener and scissors thanks to keesler knives a promo pack courtesy of arb including forby the plush toy a travel mug a forby drink bottle the new arb cap a pair of emergency travel socks the latest arb jacket and a set of valve caps to bling your rig there's an arb penrith stubby holder a pen and cap thanks to berrimer diesel and dp chip a massive map of Australia, a GDT Simpson Desert map, and Travel Atlas, courtesy of HEMA Maps Australia, a Manel Motors stubby holder, 
a USB rechargeable torch thanks to Nava, the history of Land Cruiser DVD courtesy of Terrain Tamer, a U-Fixit windscreen repair kit and tyre ratchet set, there's a copy of Dirt Cop magazine, South Pacific Bow Hunter magazine and Wild Deer and Hunting Adventures magazine, a set of the Australian designed expander pegs, an up and go breakfast replacement courtesy of Sanitarium, a set of four wheel drive TV medium stickers, a stubby of Bundaberg ginger beer and an Australian designed Aussie drink mate, a Black Widow travel mate tyre repair kit or a Donaldson diesel fuel filter kit, the electric blue span set snap strap and it's all neatly packaged up in an ARB cargo gear carry bag. Thanks to Simon Miranda for inviting me along today. I've been following Simon for many years and always enjoy his shows, all three of them. Thanks Simon and Miranda and for all the sponsors for all their prizes. You wouldn't buy a brand new car and knock it at service. Well really tyres are no different. It's a huge investment and to maximise it there's a few simple things that you can do. The number one and the most important thing is that you need to get your tyres rotated and balanced frequently. If you've got an all-terrain tyre, it needs to be done every 10,000 kilometres. If you've got a mud terrain or a more aggressive tyre, they should be done more frequently and really probably every six to 8,000 kilometres and it's done on a machine just like this one. The other side of tyre maintenance is your wheel alignment. Now that's a mechanical adjustment that your tyre outlet will do to your car and this really ensures that your tyres wear evenly. Last but not least, one of the most important things you can do, and it's the thing you can do yourself, is checking your tyre pressures. You should try and do it fortnightly. The absolute minimum, do it monthly. And this will help you to make sure you get the most out of your tyres. By doing these few simple things, you'll really maximise the investment you've made in your new tyres. I'm Brad Smith from Mickey Thompson Tyres. Thanks for joining me for this week's tyre tip. Viewers, 2013 is certainly going to be a massive year for four-wheel drive TV, four-wheel drive pro tips and your 4x4. But we have some amazing events coming up in the next few months that we'd love to see you at. The first event I'd like to talk about is the Tough Dog Tough Truck Challenge. Now this event is held in Milbradale, just out of Sydney in New South Wales and it is the biggest off-road event in Australia. This year we're expecting 9,000 hungry spectators at the event. There are activities for kids and it will ultimately be the search for Australia's toughest 4x4 truck. It's certainly well worth visiting. The weekend after that, we're across in South Australia at the Love Day 4x4 park where we've got Australia Extreme. Now, this event ran first in 2012 and it's back again for 2013 and this will be even bigger again. Tony Waitley, the park owner, is looking to smash even more world records. So if you'd like to see monster trucks, side-by-side -side buggies, quad bikes, four-wheel drives and more trying to break world records, then this is one event you certainly wouldn't want to miss. Now on the weekend following that, and at the same park, we've got the trophy cart action. This again will be a unique off-road race because we've got special guests, we've got all of the top off-road racers from Australia coming to take on the challenge of this exciting and rapidly growing new sport. Now for families and those who'd like to spend their Easter with myself and the team, we've got the ARB LD Easter event. Now it doesn't matter how advanced your driving skills are or how modified your four wheel drive may be. I set and run all the stages for this event. It is specifically designed for stock to mildly modified four wheel drives and everybody, no matter what level, will be on equal footing. It's a fun event, it's designed for families and it is a fantastic way to spend your Easter in the outback with us. For information on all these events and plenty more, please visit the calendar at fourwheeldrivetv.com.au and we'd love to see you at one of these events. G'day guys. Back when you're close to Melbourne, having a fridge in your car for a few cans of beer and a bit of stuff is a nice thing to have. When you're out here, it's not just about a few cans of beer or a bit of ice cream for the kids or whatever, it's actually about survival. You need to have fresh food. And to keep that food fresh, you need to have a system for running your fridge all the time, day and night. If the food spoils, you can get poison, salmonella, all those things are terrible things you don't want to happen. 
To achieve that, we need a dual battery system in our vehicle. That's not something you'd like to have, it's something you absolutely need. The second reason, apart from your fridge and running your lights at night, is things like navigation, editing your photographs, all that uses power. You want to be absolutely not sucking power out of your starting battery. Now this little girl is an automatic diesel. There's no way you can push start it, there's no way you can crank start it. You need a battery and a starter motor. It's absolutely essential. So part of your preparation is not just food, fuel, water, all those things, maps and navigation, it's actually thinking about your electrical needs as well. Now many people ask me, how far do I need to go? You can run dual batteries, you can run triple batteries, you can run solar panels. We're in a situation out here where we're driving pretty much every day and a pretty basic standard two dual battery system is pretty much all you need to do that job really, really well. Hi, I'm Steve Price, and that's my 40 Series Land Cruiser. Me and my dad, Tony, we built it at least eight, nine years ago. It was only really meant to be a bit of fun. It was oversprung. It had a 307 Chevy at the start with, and it wasn't very healthy, so we put a 350 in it with an auto. Put the GQ front end under it. Had an 80 Series rear end, but had a few issues with rear dips and not the best setup. So we've only just, in the last week, we've put a GQ rear end in it. We did the core conversion on it, and now we've, we've just started getting it to, to really work well. It runs on straight gas. The roll cage was built by C&D Automotive. Apart from that, it's it's just getting to know the car. The more I drive it, the better it seems to be. I haven't really had it on its roof yet, so I don't really know its limits. Well, thank you very much for tuning in for another fantastic episode of 4 -wheel Drive TV. Remember, plenty of giveaways via the website, 4 and we've got plenty more action coming your way next week. I'm Simon Christie. Tread lightly, keep it safe, play hard. See you next week. Thank <laughs> you.